Councilmember Sawant was known for the rallies and events she would hold on the issues of the day. You can get a quick sense of the breadth of issues from the series of posters and flyers in the Seattle Municipal Archives. Although the designs varied, the most common featured red and white with the Seattle skyline in the background. Each of these posters has a story behind it. Today we're going to look at the posters, flyers, and graphics for the effort to save the showbox. In 2018, the historic showbox theater was under threat of being replaced with an apartment tower. Councilmember Sawant joined those who opposed its demolition. The Seattle Channel covered the debate about the showbox on an episode of City Inside Out, asking, will the city council be able to stop the sale? Posting on her webpage, Sawant asked constituents to nominate the showbox for landmark status. Because the showbox has so much historic value, the Landmarks Preservation Board should agree to landmark it if they hear from a large enough community of people. Support came from preservation groups such as the Friends of the Showbox, as well as the public who was sick of seeing such jewels of Seattle demolished. As one constituent wrote, My heart is crying for the Showbox. I asked the Seattle City Council members to save the Showbox for the City of Seattle. While opponents said saving the Showbox would be a detriment to affordable housing, Salant argued that the 44-story tower was luxury housing that most couldn't afford. Local musicians such as Pearl Jam, Duff McKagan, Allison Chains, Macklemore, and Ben Gibbard from Death Cab for Cutie joined the cause. The first step in the showbox preservation was the effort to expand the boundaries of the Pike Place Market Historic District as a study area to halt any demolition. On August 24, 2018, the mayor signed Council Bill 119330 to do just that, and an ordinance was passed. The first step accomplished, support continued to grow. A concert was given at City Hall. Here we see Sassy Black performing at the same time as a public hearing was being held. Uh, my name is Leah Julius. I am the bass player in local band Thunder Pussy. Um, I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Uh, it's amazing to see so many familiar faces because that's what the show box is and that's what Seattle is. This is a community and we're in this together. No question I'm a person of color. We don't really get the opportunity to believe in the system that much. Um, we really, really hear, feel like our voices are heard. Um, and what I saw you guys do over the course of that period in approving the temporary ordinance gave me hope. It reinstalled the idea that the system can work if voices are willing to rally behind it. So thank you for doing your job and representing the people. The concern is so goes the show box, so goes the rest of Seattle. So if we want to start thinking about ways to do better, ways to make change, then let this be a turning point. Let this, like, let's think big. Let's think about changing the way that we use land in the city so that it's not just about profit, but it's about people. Save the show box. Thank you. After the show of support from the preservation organizations, musicians, and the public, the City of Seattle's Landmark Preservation Board granted the show box landmark status on July 17, 2019. There are over 2,000 graphic files and related materials in Councilmember Solant's poster and flyer series, far more than any other council member, and all of them have their own stories. Explore more of these posters and flyers by visiting seattle.gov slash cityarchives.